Have you ever wondered what makes Fox Chapel one of Pittsburgh's most affluent suburbs? Well, with my experience in real estate and helping families relocate to Pittsburgh, I've helped numerous people navigate the Fox Chapel area. So today we'll be talking about what makes Fox Chapel a top choice for those looking for affluent living in Pittsburgh. In this video, we'll be revealing why people choose to live in Fox Chapel, the pros and cons of living here, how much it actually costs to live here, what type of homes are here, and more. Let's get started. So Fox Chapel is a suburb of Pittsburgh. It's about 15 to 20 minutes northeast of downtown. And why people really like this area is it's kind of a mix of nature plus luxury. You have wooded hills throughout the area, which you could see behind me, and then you are bordered by the Allegheny River. So this is where like the majority of the boating scene is and the yacht club. Driving through the area, you really have a lot of winding streets and they're all usually lined by like old growth trees. So it gives the area a very rural setting. If you talk to any of the residents, they really appreciate how it feels very rural, but you're only literally 15 minutes from downtown Pittsburgh. So again, you kind of have the best of both worlds, which is pretty popular for Pittsburgh suburbs. It seems almost like a common theme. So being so close to the Allegheny River, this area is pretty much notorious for its yacht and marine scene. This is where you'll have a full boat service department, you'll have a boater's store, a pool, and a riverside restaurant. So they do like live music every weekend. It's very fun. I've been there myself and it's always a great time right next to the boat, especially on like a warm summer day. And even when the weather's bad, you even still have the day spa inside. So it's kind of like almost like a resort style area where you have inside, outside, and then of course the boating on the river. So all of this really gives it a different aspect compared to the majority of Pittsburgh suburbs. You're not getting like a yacht club in pretty much any other suburb besides Fox Chapel, which really draws a lot of boaters in the area along with lots of golf courses and country clubs, which brings in a lot of golfers along with retirees. There's also many walking trails and parks, but that's also pretty standard for all of Pittsburgh suburbs. So I wouldn't say that aspect really like draws it apart from the rest, but it's also a nice bonus because the area itself is not that walkable. You're having kind of sprawling acres, large mansions, which we'll talk a little bit about later and we'll show you guys some of the housing inventory. But I would say, it's nice having these walking trails and parks to give you the aspect of walkability to get some exercise in. And a lot of people walk just along the river too. So Fox Chapel also is known for its golfing scene. It has one of the best golf courses in the state, which is also its country club. And then you're also only a few miles away from the Oakmont Country Club, which is highly rated and highly known as a top golf course in the state as well. The golf club here is kind of your traditional private country club. So you do have to be a member in order to golf. And it's been awarded for being like a distinguished prestigious club for numerous years now. Besides just the golf course, you also have tennis, pickleball, a swimming pool, and a shooting lodge. So with boating, country clubs, golf courses, and all of the rest, I'm sure you could see why this area is so affluent. But just wait until you see the homes in this area, and then you'll even understand more why people love to live in Fox Chapel, especially for the affluent living. But besides these factors, that's not the only thing making this area affluent and just a very desired area, especially for families. Another big reason is the school district. So as you see, we'll pull it up right here, but the Fox Chapel High School and school district itself is rated either an A or A plus in every single area on niche.com except for diversity. It's said to have some of the finest teachers in the whole entire state, along with many clubs, extracurricular activities, gifted programs, and a very good reputation in sports. And it's actually ranked one of the top schools in all of the state. For elementary schools, the one that is the top winner is Fairview, which has 95 to 100% proficiency grades in reading and in math. It's actually ranked the number one district out of 
1,500 other districts in the state. And Hartwood is also another very popular elementary school. So whenever we have clients kind of looking for the top elementary schools moving from out of state, trying to figure out which areas kind of serve which elementary school and which one they want to narrow it down to. That's what we could really help with is determining which section of Fox Chapel is going to be the best for you based on what age your kids are and exactly what you're looking for in terms of district and kind of lifestyle. So before we go into the homes here, how much it costs to live here and what you could really expect from the housing market, we're going to talk a little bit about the pros and cons. I always like to give you guys the cons. I like to be brutally honest so that you guys are picking the right area for you and your family and not kind of just going off of blog posts and kind of being blindsided by the nice things about the area. There definitely are cons to every single area of Pittsburgh, so you wanna be aware of them so that we could help you make the best decision on exactly where to live. So we'll start with con number one, and that is that Fox Chapel is pricey. Right now, the median sales price is $1.1 million. Now, this is for Fox Chapel Borough itself. It's not including like the surrounding areas such as O'Hara Township, Aspenwall, Sharpsburg. Those are all part of Fox Chapel School District. They definitely are a lot more affordable, but for Fox Chapel Borough, we're looking at around $1.1 million average sales price. And it's for good reason. I mean, as you'll see in a little bit, there's sprawling acres, beautiful like European estates, some of the most beautiful architecture and housing in all of Pittsburgh. So the homes that are pricey are pricey for a good reason. But still, if you're looking for a highly rated school district, not being too far from downtown Pittsburgh, there are many other suburbs that aren't going to kind of break the bank like Fox Chapel. And by the way, I'm Riley Madden, your Pittsburgh real estate specialist. We get calls, texts, emails, and DMs every single day from people all over the world who are relocating right here to Pittsburgh, and we absolutely love it. If you're considering a move to Pittsburgh, feel free to start by giving us a call, shooting us a text, sending us an email, DMing us on social media, however you want to get a hold of us, we've got your back when making a move to Pittsburgh. And another con that kind of comes to mind as I'm speaking of how expensive it is, is some people don't like how affluent feeling it is. No, that makes a big part of the entertainment and things to do here is mainly like your country clubs, golfing, tennis, pickleball, boating, and kind of those type of activities. So if that's not really what you're looking for, you're okay with kind of just a few parks, walking trails, and it's not like on your agenda to be doing that every often, then it might not make sense to live in Fox Chapel because I would say one of the main drawers of Fox Chapel are those items. And that makes it really different compared to many other suburbs. So it typically is a big drawer for people. Now, if you want basically just a suburb with a good school district, parks and kind of your typical standard suburb we have literally like dozens and dozens of options of those but all the calls i get from people considering fox chapel are usually mentioning boating and the country club like i said if the only thing you're really looking for is that good school good proximity then even like north of Pittsburgh, you have McCandless, you have Ross Township, you have Allison Park, which is north of Fox Chapel. And of course, all of the suburbs south, west, east that don't have these luxuries, but still have kind of the top things like the school proximity and really nice houses. So I would say a con is if you're not into the golfing, the boating, it might not make sense to spend the money to live in Fox Chapel if you won't be utilizing kind of the main drawers to the area. And another con, it could be a con, might not be, but it's not a walkable area. Now, it's a sprawling suburb. It's big. It kind of feels almost like farmland, not walkable whatsoever. So if you're looking for something more walkable, there's even like Aspenwall, which is part of the district, a little walkable section. It's just you're not going to find like walkability in Fox Chapel Borough itself. And a few pros, you do have great amenities. So you have the Waterworks Shopping Center, which is full of like your groceries, Marshalls, tons of different choices for fast food and even sit down dining. A few in mind, Aladdin's Eatery, which is like sit down, you have a pokey place, hibachi, 
And then you have Walnut Grill, which is a staple. I love Walnut Grill. If you ever go, you have to get their salmon. It's phenomenal. Um, but you have gyms, you have Anytime Fitness, and you have just different like phone service stores and kind of everything you would expect from a large shopping center. What's nice is this one actually has like Marshalls, Home Goods, and kind of a little more diverse than just a typical suburban shopping center. So it's very convenient. And then you also do have like juice and coffee places, Starbucks, of course. There's a great place called Vibrant Sunshine, which basically is like a juice shop. They have homemade food, acai bowls, smoothies, coffee, all of that good stuff. It's kind of like the wellness place. And they actually do do like yoga on the weekends and different partnerships like that. So I would say overall, the area is active with all of the walking trails. You always see people working out and there is good amount of options for healthy eating. Not as much as I would expect for Fox Chapel. I mean, there's a place called Clean Eats, but you do see a lot of fast food. So being that the average price point's 1.1 million, it's more of an affluent area. What I would expect is a lot more like healthy food options and kind of that better sit down dining, but I'm really not getting that. I'm basically seeing a lot of fast food and there are a few specialty shops, but like I said, not as much as I would expect, just an observation. And another observation is that definitely like the hills, it's so forested here. Driving through, the roads are extremely windy, but there are literally so many trees. I cannot believe this area is 15 minutes away from downtown Pittsburgh. It's actually mind blowing because it really feels like I'm in like a farmland, not even in Pittsburgh. So if you want very secluded privacy and very forested area, Fox Chapel could be for you if you're looking for everything else it kind of encompasses as well. And of course, another pro is going to be the top rated school districts. And another pro is going to be kind of that private and affluent lifestyle. Not many places in Pittsburgh encompass that, but Fox Chapel definitely has it covered when you're looking at luxury, when you're looking at grand estates. The real estate is beautiful, which we're discussing right now. Majority of the people, once they visit this area, it is exactly what they were hoping for. And we've helped a lot of families kind of navigate this area and navigate the housing market. But like I said, this area, is expensive average price point being 1.1 million dollars now that's about 180 percent more than the national average i would say the main thing about the cost of living here is the housing it seems like everything else is priced pretty standard it's not like there's only options for luxury eating it's kind of your standard suburb when you're looking at cost of groceries, kind of your close amenities. Forbes actually did an article and said that Fox Chapel itself has the second highest income in the whole state of Pennsylvania. So each household income is around like $250,000 is what they had it at at the time of the article. So Fox Chapel is really a mix of all different real estate. You have estates Sit, sitting by themselves that were built like in 1904 and then you have brand new construction being built either on a private lot or with a whole community uh, like the one community we'll be putting on the screen right now is by weaver homes but there's also a new construction community that kind of features condos and mixed style living that is right next to the marine so you have like tons of options whether you want to live kind of in the woods by yourself in a community with others in a very old home or in a brand new home it's really all in fox chapel and that's something i really like and i see my clients enjoying is the different mix of architecture and housing options and one really cool story is i was meeting a client who's actually relocating to pittsburgh and we saw a home in fox chapel each brick had a mirror on it so it was like the mirror house and it was a really cool experience viewing that with my client but the architecture there is a wide range so you literally have old english style cottage homes and then you have brand new like 
modern and contemporary. So it's very wide mixture, but it gives good opportunity for whatever you guys are looking for. I'm sure there will be a few things that are going to fit your options. Fox Chapel is actually the host of the annual PGA Senior Open, and it also has had some of the most prominent residents of Pittsburgh history, including the Carnegies and the Heinzes. I could say this area has done a fantastic job at preserving that rural atmosphere in a time where everything is becoming urbanized. And I think that's what I find most charming about this area is how it still kind of holds that prestigious charm that it always has. And even like these estates that were built in the early 1900s are so well kept and well manicured going through even on the main road which would be fox chapel road you're going to see acres upon acres leading to beautiful old estates that were once home to some famous and some prominent people in pittsburgh's history so this area definitely has a special place in my heart being from pittsburgh and really appreciating the charm and the history of this area Fox Chapel really stands out to me. And I could say that clients also appreciate that. Some of my clients don't want anything like standard urban. They love Pittsburgh because of its old history, its charm, and they say they want a very old home that they could kind of remodel the interior, but keep that exterior charm. Because we do have a lot of new construction in Pittsburgh, which a lot of my clients do go for. But what's also nice about Pittsburgh is you can have that mix of old charm and modern. So I think Fox Chapel does an excellent job at kind of incorporating those two factors, but definitely keeping that rural and prestigious charm it always had. If you wanna know some other suburbs that might not be as luxury or also some that are ultra luxury, we are covering all of the suburbs of Pittsburgh on this channel. So go ahead and subscribe so that you don't miss another video and you could start learning everything else about Pittsburgh by watching these videos that pop up right here. And we'll see you in the next one.